So you've done your homework and you've come up to the conclusion that backing up your computer to the cloud to an online backup service is the right choice. And I agree. It's certainly one of the best ways to back up your data. Better than not backing up at all, mind you. As you may have noticed, there are very prominent providers on the interwebs like Backplace, Carbonite, CrashPlan, Mosey, and more. And if your head is already spinning, no worries. In this video, I've got you covered. So what we're doing today is we'll be putting together two providers, Backblaze and Carbonite Online Backup. The two services have been in the game for years and offer similar features like unlimited backup, external hard drive backup, file version recovery, and a few more items that we'll cover in this comparison. So which one should you pick? Well, there is a short and a long answer, as with most things in life, and we'll cover both in this video. But before we go any further, let's look at what real customers say about the products here on CloudWords.net. You can check all the feedback on the respective reviews for each service by clicking here and here. We do not alter the reviews and would highly appreciate if you left your own to one of those services if you happen to have experience with Backblaze or Carbonite. So, Talk B3 is saying, I've been using Backblaze for several years and have a few terabyte backed up so far. I love the lightweight client and how it is very unobtrusive in the recommended continuous mode. I don't even know it's there backing up all my data while I'm working. The performance is fantastic and it maxes out my 5 megabits upload speed when I'm not otherwise using it. I've backed up almost 50 gigabytes of photos in 24 hours before. That's a lot of peace of mind. The incremental backups are also great as I've had to restore files to a previous version before. Eric Gobbler says, Backblaze is easy to use and it works quietly in the background updating my files. 5 out of 5 stars. There is a massive comment from Jack, which uh, you should read. He says that um, I've had a Backblaze subscription for six months and I have to say that it works fine to back up your data and do an occasional restore. It's not a big deal that file permissions are not backed up because I'm the only person who can access the backup anyway. So let's look at uh, some feedback uh, that users say about Carbonite. John says, thank God my hard drives are still running smoothly and I have not needed Carbonite yet to restore my files. I see my subscription as some kind of fire insurance, for example. You're glad you have, you're glad you have it if you need it, but if you don't, you don't want to think about it either. So Carbonite is extremely easy to use and I've heard Backblaze is even more easy, but I ended up with Carbonite because it appealed to me more in my situation. I have 50 gigabytes of files, so actually I don't need an unlimited online backup, but I took your advice and plan for a bit more to come in future. Also, as far as pricing goes, there is almost no difference if I take a 50 gigabyte plan with Mosey or an unlimited plan with Carbonite. So Carbonite it is. Capoon says, backing up files is a snap. Restoring the files, especially to a new one, is not very intuitive and there should be a better way to do it, like syncing up the files with a local restore, which is much faster. The software has hiccuped a couple of times for no reason and caused full backups again, which we know now is uh, very slow, even with a super fast internet connection and uh, computer. So do check out more of the useful uh, user reviews to see which service suits, uh, suits you best, basically. So my personal short answer is, for most people, Backblaze is probably the right choice because it's cheaper, it just backs up everything. For example, there are basically no file size or type restrictions and you get 30 days of file versioning. Carbonite, on the other hand, might be a better fit if you're also looking for a cloud storage and syncing solution because you can do that with Carbonite Currents, which they now call sync and share, if I'm not mistaken. But Carbonite is a bit more expensive and has various plans. You need to figure out which is the best for you. You can read an in-depth review of Backblaze and Carbonite by clicking here and here. So. First of all, wow, thank you for, for having been sticking with me so far. Um, that tells me that you're really in for the long haul and I won't let you down in this video. Of course, in one video I can't possibly cover everything, so I've decided to break this comparison down into several categories that you may find helpful. I put the categories uh, here on the side so you can jump to the one that interests you 
at most. But I obviously recommend you watch the whole thing to make the best possible decision for your files, data, and yourself, of course, for the long haul. So let's first look at the price of each cloud backup service and what you actually get for it. I got to love Backblaze because of its easy pricing. There is just one single plan to choose from, so it leaves no doubt as to what you should choose. $5 per month per computer gives you unlimited online backup, and there are really no real limitations except for maybe one or two we're going to cover in our feature section. Carbonite is a bit more complicated when it comes to what plan to choose, and you need to be a bit more careful and think more about your current situation and setup. In this comparison, I'll only look at the personal plans, but Carbonite also has some interesting business plans you might want to look at if you have some fancy server backups or something. So it starts off with a basic plan for $59.99 per year, but there is no monthly payment available, and it gives you unlimited online backup. But if you want to back up external hard drives or want additional phone support, you need to choose the Plus plan for $99.99 per year. For people who need to back up their video files in an automatic fashion, the only real option is the Prime plan, which banks in at $149.99 per year. With both Backblaze and Carbonite, you can choose to sign up for a longer period of time to get some nice savings of up to 30%. Neat. Now, we're talking about backup here, so obviously this needs to be somehow included in this epic comparison. But not only backup is the important part, it's also about the restore that many people forget. Let's look at how Backblaze and Carbonite perform, shall we? One disclaimer though, Backblaze and um, Backblaze and Carbonite perform really well, and the uh, the restore and backup really depends on your internet connection. So what could take a few hours on my computer may take weeks on your end, or vice versa. Just keep that in mind. Backblaze is really easy to set up. Download the application, install Backblaze, configure it. It's basically configured automatically, so you don't have to worry about anything, and this is a lot different from the majority of online backup services where you normally would have to select what folders and files to back up. And Backblaze starts to back up everything automatically except system files. I was able to get a fairly consistent 300 kilobyte per second upload speed considering my poor 6 megabit upload. That's a fair speed given that I have other backup software running and use my upload connection for a few other things as well. But obviously uploading one terabyte takes a couple of weeks to finish. Once backed up, a green check mark indicates success and you can review how much data you currently have on their servers. Now the restore is where Backblaze could improve in my opinion. You can restore from the web um, for free where Backblaze sends you a zip file, but with larger files this tends to be very, very slow. So you should consider downloading your files in smaller chunks or you have Backblaze send you a hard drive to your home at additional cost unfortunately. You cannot restore from the client directly, you must sign in to your web account. I never had any issues with false restores with Backblaze when I did my test restores. All files have been retrieved co correctly. Pro users have to note, however, that metadata is not backed up properly, but that's not as important to me. So with Carbonite I had similar speed results, averaging 277 kilobyte per second, so technically a bit slower than Backblaze, but no real difference here. Carbonite's restore process works a bit different. Generally, you do everything within the Carbonite app, so you don't log into a web application like Backblaze. Once you selected the option Restore Everything, you can select the user you want to restore data from, or you can pick and choose what files you'd like to restore first. This comes in handy if you desperately need one or two files today and cannot wait until your whole restore is complete. With my test files, I didn't have any problems with my restore. However, there are a couple of users who describe the restore process as slow. Also, some computers seem to be slowed down by the Carbonite software. Now, let's dig a little deeper into the features and how Backblaze and Carbonite differ. Backblaze's features are stripped down on purpose. Their goal is to provide anybody with a low-cost, $5 per month unlimited online backup plan. And when Backblaze says unlimited, they really mean it. There are no restrictions in the amount of data you can backup, nor are there file size or bandwidth limits. Now a valid question obviously is, is everything unlimited? And 
The answer is unfortunately no. There is a limited version history of 30 days, so you can go back in time up until 30 days and retrieve older saves of a file. Also, when connecting external hard drives, you have to make sure to connect them every 30 days as well, otherwise your files are going to be wiped out. But Backblaze will send you some reminders before that happens, thankfully. So for me, Backblaze is unlimited enough. If you have a lot of external hard drives, this can be a little cumbersome. Carbonite's definition of unlimited is a bit broader, which is reflected in their different pl pl plans. The base plan doesn't include automatic video backup. You can select them manually though. If you need to backup your external hard drives, like I do, you have to select the plus plan for $99.99 per year. The prime plan includes a career service to your door with all your files. Obviously, every, everything, every feature only counts for one computer. So with Backblaze, there are, like Backblaze, there are no bandwidth limitations or file size limitations. So um, everything is pretty much unlimited with Carbonite, but again, with external hard drives, they have to be connected every 30 days in order to back those files up accordingly. So here comes a goodie for those who are looking for a hybrid solution of backup and file sharing and syncing like Dropbox. Carbonite offers a feature called Sync and Share, that allows you to sync any file or folder, folder from your backups to other devices. So in terms of features, Carbonite is in the lead, but obviously it's more expensive than Backblaze. So we need to cover two more important areas, in my opinion, to get you on the right track, which service is the right tool for your needs, security and mobile access. Security is one of the major issues when it comes to sending your files off to the cloud. Yes. You'll get a lot of convenience with anywhere access from any device and backup is automatic and so forth. But how secure are your files? Now, let's look at Backblaze does it. What I like about Backblaze is that you can enter your private encryption key that remains on your computer and you're the only one who controls it. Before your data leaves your computer, it's fully encrypted to, so even Backblaze employees couldn't see your files even if they had to. If you lose your key though, you cannot get your files back, so keep it somewhere really safe where you can retrieve it. When your files are at rest on Backblaze's servers, they're again stored in an encrypted fashion. Carbonite security is very solid as well. You can select a personal and private security, just as Backblaze, that encrypts your files locally before they leave your computer with a 128-bit Blowfish key. That gives you a great deal of security for your files, in my opinion. Of course, your files are sent via a secure socket layer SSL connection, which is also used by banks and other institutions. The data centers are guarded 24 hours a day and server access is controlled through electronic key cards and pin codes. Your files are also backed up and if there is an electricity outage, there are apparently fancy backup generators that switch on in case of emergency. Now, let's switch to mobile access. Why would you want mobile access to your backups? Well. Say you're on the road to a meeting and suddenly you discover you forgot an important presentation at home or at the office. You can now open the Backblaze mobile app and download that presentation onto your device and open it. While that's a nice feature and all, I must admit that Backblaze mobile app is still very bare bones and vanilla. You cannot view or preview any files within the app and the file tree takes quite some time to load. Personally, I haven't used that feature much. I tend to use other cloud storage apps for file sharing, previewing, and syncing that do really a much better job than the Backblaze app. Carbonite Mobile um, has more features and feels more well-rounded than Backblaze's software. You can preview most common image files and even locate your device through the mobile app. Carbonite has a few built-in security features inside the app. If you lose your device, you can remote wipe your device or even remotely access the camera to take a picture of that naughty thief. Naturally, the app allows you to back up all of your devices, um, all of your device's photos and videos in full resolution. Okay, wow. Thanks for sticking with me in this exciting journey. Now, as I said in the beginning, if you're just considering backup, I still prefer Backblaze over Carbonite, though Carbonite's syncing and sharing features make it an 
interesting choice. Overall, I have the feeling that consumers are less happy with Carbonite, which is reflected in our reviews on cloudwords.net, which you can access right here. So if you like this video and my other videos, please give it your thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because we're releasing new videos every now and then all around the cloud with interviews, reviews, tips and tricks. See ya.